Hey everyone, my name is Shay. I'm the Partnerships and Programs Manager for First Draft in New York City, and I'm going to show you some basic techniques for digital footprinting and verifying sources online. First things first, I need everyone to download this extension, Revi Reverse Image Search. You can get it in the Chrome Web Store, and when you install it, it should appear as a little eyeball up top. Now, as I'm sure you all know, there's a lot of misinformation about medical advice right now. So let's practice verifying the account of a medical professional. Here we have Carol Henry. She's been tweeting about coronavirus and claims to be a B-cell immunologist. But how can we be sure? She's not giving us a lot to go off of. There's no verification check. She doesn't link to a professional profile. And she only has 10 tweets. So let's see what we can find out about her. Rule number one. Always reverse image search the account profile. It can tell you a lot really quickly. So I'm going to click on that picture. I'm going to right click, scroll down to that extension we installed, and do a Google search. Now when you do that, you get a page that looks like this. I like to scroll down because there's this helpful section at the bottom called pages that include matching images. If we click on this first one, we see this page it seems to be some kind of website based out of the University of Chicago, Medicine. If we scroll down, we see that picture of her. But it says Carol Dunnand. That's interesting. I'm going to save that piece of information for later. So let's go back. We also have this LinkedIn profile. That's also promising. And we can see that it says she's a senior scientist at the University of Chicago immunologist with 10 years of experience. So that's cool, but it brings me to rule number two, which is check primary sources. If we want to confirm that she is in fact a scientist at the University of Chicago, the primary source is the University of Chicago. So I'm gonna to go to Google and I'm just gonna search her name with the University of Chicago. And if we click on this first link, it takes us to this page, looks like it's based at the University of Chicago, the Wilson Lab. And we can see that she is in fact a staff scientist. Now, rule number three is find contact information. It's unlikely, but there's always a chance that this account profile is just posing as Carol Henry, the scientist at University of Chicago. So lucky for us on this page, if you click her name, that actually takes you to her email address. But say it didn't do that. Some university pages don't. So we can type in Carol Henry Dunnant. Remember that name we saw before? And if you click on this first link, voila, we seem to have some kind of university directory and here is her email address.